Hey everyone, welcome back to Blake James Astrology. This is your astrology today for December 10th, 2021. Well, if you haven't yet already, you can subscribe to my channel and uh, feel free to press the like button if you do like uh, what I have to say today. And also, uh, I've left a link in the description below for anybody that is looking for some personal readings. Um, that link will take you to my website with different options uh, to choose from. Um, and they're quite inexpensive. They're pretty cheap. So feel free to check that out, please. And here we go for today. Today horoscope is right here and let me just tell you that we're gonna have a two-on-two -two situation ganging up a little bit here okay so it's a little bit more of a challenging day today especially when it comes to our communication and our emotions and uh how we feel in our actions mercury's in Sagittarius, uh, he's been there with uh, the sun for quite a while now, and uh, he's like his little uh, paper boy. He's like his little dog, as always. But they're both going to be squaring the moon and Neptune, both in Pisces. So it's going to be quite a challenging day for how we feel. And let me tell you, it's going to be a very confusing day and possibly confusing weekend especially today. Um, there's going to be a lot of news today, a lot more news today than there has been. And it's going to be probably a little bit more out there than what we're... I know, I know the news has been out there for, for quite a while now, but it's going to be even... It's going to be even more confusing and out there today and also we have jupiter that's going to be sextiling mercury as well so th those are the main points here today these two these two and him okay so mercury is one i'm looking at the most here okay he's going to be he's going pretty fast he's out of bounds in sagittarius which means there could be some uh, what do I want to say here, like verbal diarrhea, okay? It's going to be kind of information overload, I think, today for a lot of people, and it's going to leave people feeling like they're kind of in a whirlwind, and that it's going to maybe even really confuse some people is going to make people want to retreat uh, to, to, to escape, to go on, to just sort of escape from the world, maybe, you know, go for a walk or go on a little day trip somewhere. Of course, we can't really go anywhere too far, but it's definitely going to want, you, you might even want to go take a nap. Like, that's how, like, confusing it is. It might give some people some headaches. But... And that's going to lead up until this weekend, too. But it's definitely going to be something probably pertaining to um, uh, some some foreign exposure, okay? So there's going to be, um, I mean, because Mercury is normally like the local paper boy, okay? He doesn't really like to be in Sagittarius. He usually likes to be in Gemini or in Virgo, you know, in reality and sort of in his little environment, okay? And he he's the one that relays all the all the news and all the information, all the information, even if it's if it's true or not true, it doesn't matter. It's just any information that's out there. He's the one that delivers it. He's the delivery guy. But he's in Sagittarius, which has to do with everything that's outside of his environment. So he has to like make his deliveries to Australia if he lives in the states or in Canada. He doesn't want to go that far. He's supposed to be just the delivery guy. He doesn't want to go that far. So he's going to be having to take his paper boy duties and turn them into being a foreign correspondent for the national news. 
So he's going to, and he, like I said, that he's in, the, he's out of bounds here as well. So he's going to be kind of giving us some information that we've probably never even heard before or seen before. It's going to be, and with Jupiter here too, sex telling him, it's not only going to be telling it to everybody, to the whole world, but he's also going to be, you know, giving him more power to to get to to say something that's even like probably more radical and crazier than we've ever even heard and i know even in these times people are like what do you mean we've already heard all the crazy things that we've that you could ever imagine well you'd be surprised <laughs> and um hey you know i really wouldn't be surprised if we saw some more you know, crazy information come out. And I'm not saying that it's crazy information, but I just mean that it's, it's, it's going to be more shocking things to hear about what's going on in the world. And like I said the other days, you know, uh, the more weird it is, you know, the other day when the moon was in uh, was in Aquarius, I said that that's where you need to be. You know, like normally the weird places are, are the, are, are the weird circumstances or the alternative strange circumstances are normally the places that aren't easy. You would think of them as places that are difficult, but actually a couple of days ago, those are the places that you, that's where you would have the most easiest time. So we're really going to, you know, and I and I hope you did embrace it because that's going to take you into you know the these more like beautiful places. It's going to be really confusing, but it's also going to be it's also going to be beautiful. It's going to be like um like Dorothy in the Wizard of Oz. She I mean she was like, well, what is this place? I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. You're Toto, and Toto's right here, Neptune, and he's going. I know I haven't been there in a long time. I've been there in years in Kansas. He's been in places for a long time now so he's like welcome to the party <laughs> come join me and um you know like it's it, it's it's a strange place a strange new place but it can also be really beautiful you know it's 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 this those really confusing times sometimes that bring out the most beautiful times so we have to embrace that and so hopefully you can all embrace it and find some beauty in uh in these crazy times in these uh wonderful but crazy times this is like these last couple of years have been unprecedented but also people haven't this world hasn't seen astrology like this in god like centuries so for the whole collective i just want to say that we're all here during these times that are really unprecedented, but you have to ask yourself as much as you, as much as you're asking yourself sometimes, like, like why, like, why is this happening? Or why is, you know, may, maybe we're all here for a certain reason. Everyone has a purpose. Everyone has a certain thing to bring to the table and we're all here to experience it and enjoy it. So, yeah, I mean, it is like living in a different world. And it is going to be a different world. It, it already is. It's happening right now. But we have to kind of embrace it, I think. Anyway, I hope you uh, find some solace in that. And I'll see you this weekend. Take care. Bye.